Hi, I'm Deborah James, and I'm the facilitator for the Student Teacher Project Team. I've been engaged to facilitate this meeting in order to help establish a Super User Project Team here at Costco. Before we get started, I want to tell you just a little bit about myself uh, before we proceed forward. I've been on the Cerner team here at Costco for over 10 years. And I've been a Cerner employee as part of the SI3 organization uh, for the last two years. My role as informaticist has been primarily focused on workflow and implementation here at Costco in regards to the electronic medical record. And identifying the needs at Costco, we uh, de decided that we needed to establish a super user project team to help move forward implementation to manage change management and to help the end user here uh, as we develop our electronic medical record. The main project goal is to provide a smoother workflow for documentation for our end users. Our goal for our super user project team is to provide ongoing end user support and enhance the change management process. We also want to provide a mechanism to monitor how effective the super user model is at the unit level on an ongoing basis. The super user project team will be responsible for analyzing current workflow processes related to nursing admission, discharge, and nursing report in order to identify any automation, improvement possibilities, and address any uh, increased functionality that can be engaged to improve this process. <clears throat> These are goals that have been outlined by Costco as part of the Nursing Strategic Action Plan. The super users will be engaged in evaluating the ease and use to identify a more efficient, smoother workflow for our end users. We will look for critiquing and provide feedback from our end users on changes to the system. We will also provide data and system reports that will analyze these implementations. What is the key to success? You as a super user will be what proves this project to be successful. The primary mission of a super user is to be the front line support to caregivers within the healthcare organization. Our goal is to identify one to two representatives for each nursing unit based on the nurse manager's identified need to provide support on a 24 <coughs> <coughs> our this super user project team will also include our facilities located at Monette and Cost Walnut Lawn. Some of the key skills and characteristics we are looking for in our super users. We are, are looking for clinical experts in the nursing process. We are not going to be engaging with new grads, um, personnel that have limited clinical experience. We want the best of the best. We want those clinicians that are experts in their area of practice. The second characteristic that we're looking for are individuals with excellent communication skills. We are looking for individuals that can help move their knowledge base and share information to, with their coworkers. We're looking for individuals that are dedicated and empowered to lead change. Individuals that have the ability to foster a team learning environment. These super users will act as coaches to our end users. They will operate as a central point for troubleshooting and change management on their unit. They will have an excellent, good fundamental knowledge of Cerner. And they need to have the desire 
to be their representative for their area and to help guide change. What will be expected of these super users and what will be part of their role? They will be asked to attend and participate in all super user meetings, conduct end user training as applicable. They will be involved in pilot tests for changes to the sonar system in the ease of use and process workflow. They will be involved in evaluating the effectiveness of educational activities through observation of behavioral changes or skill mastery of the end user. They will provide assistance to users after training. They will instruct end users on protocol changes and system fixes as they are rolled out. They will act as a change agent, communicating system, <coughs> excuse me, system information. They will communicate user requests, the change request process, problems, and other system issues. <coughs> they will be our subject matter experts, otherwise known as our SPEs. The schedule that we will follow is that we are asking you as nurse managers to identify and interview these nurses for super user <coughs> project teams. We're asking that these interviews be completed and individuals identified by the March 15th <coughs> deadline. On April 1st, 2015, we will hold our first super user project team meeting. These project team meetings will be held on a monthly basis on a set schedule. Again, this super user project team is a collaborative effort between nursing administration, myself as a facilitator, with a target date for implementation of April 1st. The training model that we will develop and to lead forward with our future changes is that our core will be a traditional classroom based that will be led by our educational services. Our secondary will be relevant job related training that will be led by our clinical educators. And then we will be using our super users as our just in time educators for that education that is happening out on our nursing units in real time. Proposed changes. We propose that we identify any committees that need to be dissolved and replaced with, with this group of super users that will be meeting on a monthly basis. The transition date for these committees will be set for April 1st, 2015. Any issues that are currently uh, being uh, addressed by our documentation electronic work group will be transitioned over to our super user project team for completion and resolution. If you have any questions, please feel free to address those to, with me after this meeting, and or you may address, email me at deborahjames.com. That's Turner. Thank you very much for your attendance today, and I look forward to meeting with all of you and working together as we develop our super user project team here at Cox Health. Thank you.